Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome to The Long Dark. I did say I would return and do another sandbox survival challenge at some point in the future. The last one ended us with ended up with us being basically unkillable. We had infinite sapood sapood. We got we had an infinite supply of food. We killed the bear that was after us. Uh, it was just not a challenge anymore, so we tried a challenge, an actual challenge. We failed, we died. Um and I wanted to do one more survival run on a harder difficulty before the game officially launches. The game in a few months will be coming out uh, with the story mode and, and everything in it as a complete 1.0 package. So this will be probably my final run while, before the game officially launches. So we're going to go into Sandbox uh, and we're going to clear out some of this stuff. Uh, just that one, because that was when I was testing out. And we're going to start over, and we're going we're gonna to play from scratch. We're going to play on the Stalker difficulty. Uh, Interloper is uh, scary. I'd like to do this eventually. Um, but I think walking up to Stalker difficulty is probably our best bet. This is for veteran players looking for a punishing, challenging, hostile experience. Wildlife is often hostile when hunting me down. All survival elements are tuned to be particularly challenging and allows for three feats. We will be running without any feats, so don't worry about that. And I'm going to go ahead and say, pick a random spot and we'll just go from there. And I'm hoping, uh, final before, oop, before launch. Uh, I'm hoping this is going to last a good while. Uh, I would love to get to a point where we're just infinitely unkillable again, but there's no promises that that's how it's going to be. Uh, it is hard to adapt to chaos, but it can be done. I am living proof that it can be done. Good to know. Thanks, Kurt. Appreciate it, buddy. And we are on the little island near that lighthouse. Uh, a place I've been to many, many times, actually. Uh, this is not a bad start. You know, our usual clothes, it's 9 degrees out, and we're already burning calories by just standing here. So, I'm going to go ahead and take a shortcut. And I'm going to make my way to this lighthouse and... Uh, Start looting it. I feel like we actually started here. Actually, let's hit this boat first. Uh, I feel like we started here the last survival run we did. I remember we were at a lighthouse, um, but I don't remember if this is the the one. Either way, it's good to it's good to be back. I'm happy to be here. Uh, I love this game, um, and I'm excited to see how much more difficult Stalker is going to end up being. Uh, Thought that out, that out there was a wolf already, and I was a little bit nervous, uh, but we're good. We're good. We're good. So let's let's hit this boat. Let's get inside of it. Let's uh, let's loot what we can. And we'll make our way to the lighthouse and take out what we can there. This all should be going up while I'm at MomoCon. This is all for backlog for me. I'm recording it many many days beforehand. Um, so if you know you are are watching this and you're gonna drop tips and stuff, I love you, uh, but I'm gone for like a week. Uh, it is a six-day trip for me. Um, I'll be leaving early Wednesday morning and coming back on Monday night. So it's going to be one of those those long ones. I apologize. Let's get a, a match up and lit. That is not doing jack shit for me. Uh, that's all right. Uh, for now, I just want to kind of explore this boat, grab what he can. If I rem okay, don't. Please don't. Don't, like, sprain an ankle this early, my dude. Uh, let's see what we can grab. And hopefully we'll find some stuff to get us kind of a nice start. Though I'm not quite sure how likely that's going to be um, on this difficulty. And, uh, you know, maybe not a good, a good idea to come back. Uh, we only have that. Yeah, we only got that. So this is going to be what we have. Maybe not a good idea to come back and immediately start on this harder difficulty. But you can't tell me what to do. Antibiotics a really good pickup. I I will not really know how valuable certain things are uh, on this difficulty Because I don't really know the difficulty all that well. I Don't want to go through all my matches. We'll just go. We'll, we'll use one One or two more here And just try and get ourselves up to uh, there should be an upper deck take ooh, coal that's actually a very good find the reason I don't want to use my flare either is because that is a a great pickup for we'll take the jerry can uh, 
it's a great pickup for our uh, use against wolves and if we are planning on running across wolves you know on this it's more difficult setup then I don't want to waste it all right that'll be enough to, enough matches for now we'll come back and finish this area out when we have a bit more tools at our disposal for keeping a dark areas lit fam 100 uh, can I actually get up here looks like I can no maybe not I, th I think I think actually that I can but I, I might have to do it from the inside all right it's a dead body over here let's grab it well, on the bright side we did get some medical supplies that's always useful uh, one of the big things I want right now is uh, a form of defense, a knife or something. We want to, we want to get to the lighthouse. I think spend the night there and then go. What is this? A torch? Sure, that actually is great. I think he has a knife under him or a magnifying glass, actually. Okay, that start. That'll help start a fire if we need one. Uh, let's spend the night here, and then in the morning we'll head to that that area over there. I just don't want to head over there yet before searching the lighthouse. The lighthouse is going to be smaller and quicker to break down and, and look through. So I'm also going to grab some twigs along the way, just for some uh, some fire fuel. We got three out of that, plus three around here. need a hatchet to break that down two hours left the the gorgeous scenery right there but I don't know if the red sky means anything don't really need scrap metal mountaineering rope I'm told is mostly used as a pry bar not bad that could help us pry open some locked things he also looks like chewed up so that's a little bit worried worrisome probably from over here Luckily, it's been a while since I've played, so my memory is not going to be great as to where some of the animals tend to perch up and live. Okay. I gotta also determine what's an echo and what's not from when I'm walking. I don't remember the last time I played. It's been a, it's been a few months, so I apologize. A little bit of relearning going on. It's a loon, I think, is the bird that makes that noise. Okay. Just want to kind of sneak up here. Don't hear anything. Car. Relax, my man. I'm at risk for hypothermia. A little scary, but we'll be I think we'll be okay. It's pretty close. We could Damn. probably run a bit. Freezing. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Just gotta get indoors and you'll be alright. Do I not have a bedroll, actually? I don't... I might not actually have a bedroll. I might not have started with one on this difficulty. Let's get indoors and find out. In we go. Hopefully a lantern or, <clears throat> or something in here as well. There is. Thank you. Oh, we, you know what we, we did pick up is a new jacket. We have no reason not to be wearing that. This will come in handy. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this on. We'll keep a lookout. See if we can find anything. Gloves are good. 
take the wood. We may want to start a fire. I'm not entirely sure on that yet. Scarf. I will go through all the clothing once we've looted this area. Because, we're gonna be, again, we're going to be spending the night here. So, I'm not really in a rush. No. Hey, we get a bedroll. All right. That'd be kind of sad if we didn't get a bedroll. That'd be probably on the cruel side if you think about it. More matches. A sewing kit. Another book. Some food. More crackers. Rifle cleaning kit. Uh, not useful yet, but has the potential to be. Right. Lockers. We've got a pry bar. If anything's locked, we'll pop it open. We're still cold, but we're doing all right. Here. Decent ski boots. That might be good. Ragged wool shirt. Another locked one. Ooh. Socks. Water. That's excellent. Okay. And this should just lead up and out, right? Yes. So, let's go through our clothing real quick. Why don't we wear this? No accessories, but we do have a scarf. And we've got gloves. And we've got more socks. So we doubled up. Yeah, we're going to wear the ski boots as well. They look a little silly, but it's fine. Now we can head outside. See what we've got laying around. Another newspaper. We don't know. I don't really know what we're looking at here as far as uh, as far as uh, our start, our, our weight is concerned, how much we're carrying. But I feel like we're gonna be all right. All right, let's let's get ready to spend the night. I don't want to burn uh, sleep yet. Oh, I'm actually indoors. How quickly it becomes impossible to see anything. I think we're running low on fuel. Yeah, we're running really low on fuel. So let's just get down to the bed. Actually, I need to turn this off. Uh, we don't really need to... We can just holster it. We're not going to use it. Uh, what do we got? Less than an hour of daylight left. Uh, we can actually just pass the time for an hour. It'll heal us up a bit, keep us nice and warm. Got ten hours of darkness left, and we're not really in the mood to be sleeping. So why don't we pass a couple hours here. We're thirsty, but we're going to be hitting some buildings tomorrow. So we can we can drink up our water and feel pretty okay about it. Our weight capacity is decent. And why don't we just sleep for eight hours? All right. Four hours to go. <laughs> Gotta burn it. Thirsty and getting incredibly hungry. There's the, the sunlight, though. We've got 13 hours of daylight ahead of us. So let's eat these crackers. Okay. We'll drink. That may be all the water. I'm not sure how much we're going to have to down. Yeah, we drank it all. And we're going to head out and immediately head to the houses. And get out of here. I'm a little nervous about the weather, but I don't hear wind going. The red sky gave us some fog to worry about, but that's about it. I think we're going to be all right. Interesting little start. A little bit of a, a difficult start, but an interesting one nonetheless. Things will get easier once we're able to get a gun, if we're, a if we're able to get a gun uh, and some bullets. Um, if we can't, 
Definitely the ability to uh, to build a, a bow and some arrows would be a good start for us as well. For now, just kind of walk and keep our ears open. So it's good to be back! <laughs> a lot of people always asking, like, when is next Long Dark going to be? When are you going to do Long Dark again? I'm really glad you guys like this style of content. As, as I've said last time I did this style of content, I know it's kind of what I... Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Get out, wolf. Oh shit. They're hunting in packs. Get out. All right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. It sucks that we had to burn that really, really, is that a bear? That's just another wolf. That's fine, let's get rid of him too. He's near a car, and I don't mind going after it. Come on, you want to stand off? There we go. You're good. Off you go, you asshole. God damn. Well, that is a really early time to be seeing wolves. And, uh... You know, you don't particularly want to see them that early, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, not much here. Let's head right where we know the building is. As I was saying, I'm glad you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's the kind of content I built this channel on, obviously, and it's really nice to always go back and play these style of games I really enjoy. Uh, we've got another wolf over here, uh, and before this thing goes out, I definitely want to try and spook him off, if possible. Hey, man. Oh, shit! He didn't give a shit! He didn't give a shit! He didn't give a shit! Oh, God! Oh, he didn't care! He did not care. The pry bar is not a good weapon. Let's go ahead and treat the wounds. Treat the infection risk. No painkillers. We'll be alright. Well, that's not a good start. Get Are you serious? Hand. Wolf, fuck off, dude. <laughs> ah, God damn it. He's dead. I killed him. Eat shit. You piece of garbage. I want your hand. I want your meat. I'll spend an hour harvesting some of your meat. I don't care. I'm at risk for frostbite? Oh, shit. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's run. Well, that's a, a horrendous start if there I, I ever had one. This is going up whether I die this episode or not. We gotta start again, I will. Um, how many goddamn wolves? The question is, was it actually only two wolves and I just had to deal with the same two wolves every time? Or was it like a pack of four or five? I'm so cold. Yeah, I know you're cold. You're at risk for frostbite my dude but we've got some wolf meat which is actually really nice and there's some first aid stuff over here I'm gonna grab the sticks while I can yeah I'm also hungry apparently antibiotics and let's see can I do anything all right we got to get indoors we're gonna have to fight off the hypothermia Get me indoors, and I, I, I feel I will feel a little more confident. At the very least, it is a, a much more difficult start. Flare, nice to have another one. How weird how random start will put me right back where I started the last time around. Okay, so let's take a look real quick at our first aid. Hypothermia. It'll get frostbite. All right, we're indoors now. We need a place to start a fire. Some of these, sometimes these barrels can do that. But we are at 
We are at 20 minutes, and I, I'd love to leave this on a cliffhanger. So that's what I'm going to do. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comment section below by hitting the like button. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.